Hello everybody and welcome to Ochiba Wolf Collection and welcome back to my amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today I'm going to be opening this paper theater and actually going to be setting it up completely and I'm pretty nervous because this is my very first time setting up one of these paper theater products and basically what these are they're little craft kits so you get to make this out of paper layers upon layers of craft paper so you can see that some of these details are really tiny so that's what I'm most nervous about I pre-ordered this from Ami Ami like a month or two ago I don't remember exactly but these did come out at the end of August and because we only have DHL and FedEx as a shipping option right now, I got it super fast. I paid 12.30 yen for this, so about 12 US dollars. Here is the back of the paper theater packaging. I mean, you can see that it's not a very thick package at all. It's just about a thick letter size, really, and it doesn't have much weight to it. But here on the back, it is going to show you all of the paper pieces included and the difficulty level right here. We have a four and a half out of five diamonds. So this is one of the more difficult kits out there. They do make a lot of paper theater for a lot of different shows, animes, movies, Disney, stuff like that. And I've seen some with just one or two diamonds. So this one as my first one, not too thrilled that it's one of the more difficult ones. And the cool thing is English instructions are included and it does say you will need some tools to complete this. So you're gonna need at least a utility knife, glue and tweezers to complete this kit. Just showing you guys a little bit more of the packaging before we dive into this. There is the official Toei sticker right there and then the date that it was made. 2020 made in China for sale in Japan only. Oh god, I'm so nervous about these tiny pieces, you guys. I guess that's what the tweezers are for to pick them up. You're going to need a utility knife. The pink color is optional. Tweezers to hold some of the little tiny paper pieces. And then the very last important part is some glue. And I just bought some Elmer's Craft Bond fabric and paper glue. And I'm hoping that that is going to do. <laughs> I also got some of these, which are just little swab things. I found this at the craft store, like where they set up the little car models and stuff. I figure I'll need a little bit of um, a tiny applicator for some of the glue on the pieces. So this is an optional piece. It is sealed on the back just with this little tiny piece of tape. So we are going to remove it. Let me know if any of you guys out there have set up one of these paper theater products, by the way. If you find them fun to do or if you find them challenging. This stuff is interesting. Let's take a peek at it here. This must be the instructions. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, God. Assembling instructions over here. So this must be the English. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys where the English instructions start down here. It does say, thank you for purchasing the product, paper theater of characters in famous scenes created by layering pieces of precisely laser cut paper. Okay, cool. Tools required, utility knife, glue, tweezers. Check, check, check. Each part is extremely fragile. Handle with care to prevent damage or breakage. There may be burn marks or stains characteristic of laser cutting. Take care when handling as the color from the stain may come off. So the first step is to separate each part with a utility knife. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, number two is glue the paste parts to parts one through six. Three, assemble each part in order using the joint parts on joint sheet. Okay, those are the three steps. And then it looks like it shows you exactly how to do this. So this is gonna be extremely helpful. We're gonna have to refer to this throughout the entire thing. I could not do this without it. And then it goes all the way to the back. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a while. I hope you guys can bear with me and I hope you find it enjoying. Here is the packet of all of the paper. Let's get to it, guys. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you guys how some of the pieces look. Uh, they do say to keep an eye out on all of this because if you cut them out beforehand, you're gonna forget that this is number two front.
Guys, I'm not even done with Chibiusa yet, and look at this ridiculously small piece. Like, I can barely get it on there. They want it at the very tip of her uh, compact, and I'm finding it very, like, hard to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it or found it informational or found it helpful or even relaxing. Let me know down there in the comments if you guys ended up buying the Sailor Moon Eternal Paper Theater product and if you're going to assemble it or if you plan to just keep it mint in package. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet and leave a comment down below if you guys have anything to say. I have more Sailor Moon videos coming up real soon so I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Talk to you guys later. Bye! Thanks for watching!